Qatar is known as the art capital of the Gulf. From public art spread across the capital, Doha, to architectural masterpieces like the Museum of Islamic Art. But its collection of modern Arab art is perhaps the most impressive in the world. Miranda Atti has a story. This was once a school building. Now it's Mataf, Qatar's Arab Museum of Modern Art. With more than 9,000 exhibits, it holds the world's largest specialized collection of modern Arab art. Each room in the permanent collection has a very different style. This area features the work of abstract modernists like Gibran Tarasi or Mohamed Milehi, and it gives space to their geometric designs, their vibrant lines, and their acid bright colours. In the current uh, permanent collection galleries, we have the reading through um, uh, historical production in time, but also through themes that are um, uh, topics about uh, society, uh, change, the use of materials, and in the same time, we look at the, uh, the, the um, innovation or the creativity, the, the, the art languages, the um, tendencies, uh, how um, art changes in this diverse, uh, large region. Mataf began life as a private collection, gathered by Sheikh Hassan bin Mohammed, a member of Qatar's ruling family in the 1990s. The current building was converted into a museum in 2010. I think what's interesting about, about being here and about the collection itself is the way that uh, the, the collecting process itself um, has uh, changed from uh, the founding patron's private collection, Sheikh Hassan bin Althani, to becoming a public institution and the history of the collection um, is embedded within the, the, the history of the institution but at the same time we're able to work with that and develop uh, kind of new narratives and, and unravel these tales around everyday life and the history of society around politics, um, around social change um, because the works uh, have this uh, depth in terms of the historical perspective that they bring. The work in the permanent collection is diverse. But alongside that, Mataf also curates specific artist exhibitions. The work of Iraqi artist Shakir Hassan Al Said has currently taken over this space. The painter, sculptor, and writer died in 2004. This room is dedicated to his unique style and philosophy. As his career progressed, Shakir Hassan moved from figurative art to work that was increasingly abstract. This was in line with his philosophical concept of one dimension, or the area between the visible world and the invisible realm of God. The art pieces in Mataf can be traced from Morocco to India, from Turkey to Sudan. There are paintings, installations and sculptures. So if you want to get to grips with the work of contemporary Arab artists, there's no better place. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Doha, Qatar. Thank you.